Welcome one, welcome all, and welcome to Friday Fright Time, where every week I, Connor, along with my trusty sidekicks, Kofi and Stu, dissect horror movies from throughout history, tearing our favourite, most memorable moments to pieces. Hi, guys! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> You've done it for me. Hi, guys! This week on Unleash the Ghouls! <laughs> you better have your pocket money ready, because we're going to get in the the queue for the Ice Cream Man, a 1995 comedy horror movie, if you can call it a comedy, or even if you can call it a horror. Stu, Kofi, how are you doing, boys? <laughs> yes, rather good, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll play Stu. Yeah, so this film's fucking bollocks, right? So, basically... <laughs> can anyone guess the budget? <laughs> <laughs> Who fucking cares? No one cares about fucking money on this film today, really. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Why do they go Australia? <laughs> it's nearly English, isn't it? That's the fucking method acting out the way with for this week. <laughs> Great start. Shall we dive into Ice Cream Man, lads? I think we shall. Movie begins as movies do, and we get a fucking black and white intro showing a bit of backstory. It's like a fucking scene from GTA 5. It starts with a drive-by shooting on an ice cream man, but what has an ice cream man done that's bad enough to get drive-by shooting? Shut up. <laughs> And then the little prick's on the side of the road. He just doesn't care at all, does he? He just eats his ice cream with a body next to him. But no one else gives a shit either. They just care about the kid that's eating the ice cream. No one cares about the guy that just got mowed down in the street. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's never explained, though, is it? I, I don't think no. there's ever a point in the film where we learn what it is he's done to justify getting mowed down. No. It's completely pointless, really, to the whole film. Yeah, I mean, I know the kid that comes in out the side of the road is, like, Gregory, and I think he's got like a wound like on the side of his face so it looks like he must have taken a bit of like shrapnel from the, the fucking mafia. <laughs> no, it was a bit of ice cream. It was a it, bit of ice He got frostbite <laughs> on his face where a bit of ice cream hit him. went mental. Yeah, he has gone mental so that now in the present day he's going round as the ice cream prince, I think he is. How the parents haven't clocked onto him. He's got prison bars on his fucking van. <laughs> yeah, and and his van says, watch out children on the back. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't actually <laughs> Noticed that. <laughs> also, all of the lollies are just called bombs in some way. You've got a cherry bomb, you've got a white lemon <laughs> bomb pop, you've got a bingo bomb, there's a rocket a bingo bomb. bomb. And then just beside that is a Nestle Crunch. <laughs> 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 I like a twist of me, that's my fave. And Kofi. Oh, that's the Hagen dance vanilla, mate. Unreal. Vanilla? You bland fuck. Bland? Are you fucking mental? It's either that or caramel choo choo. I always go for either the baked Alaska. Oh, that's hard to find that as well. Is that with my little polar bears in and that? It's got the yeah. it's got the marshmallow swells with the white polar bears. Or I go mm. for the fish food one. Mmm. Which is like caramel, it's got chocolate fish in there, it's chocolate ice cream. Mm. It's fucking banging is what it is lads <laughs> <laughs> at least I didn't go my real special flavour is vanilla <laughs> oh fucking hell it's unreal though. it's only because haagen use exclusive vanilla from Madagascar <laughs> <laughs> this film, one of the little <laughs> cunt kids goes up with a van and he gets some sort of like orange ice lolly looking thing but Gregory doesn't take any money for it. <laughs> so how are you running a business mate? He also does that annoying thing where he like goes to give him a lolly and he keeps snatching it away like them Turkish guys that you see on YouTube where <laughs> they go to give you the code and they keep pulling it away and it's just the most annoying shit in the world which is probably why that kid didn't pay for it. Yeah and then the kid's like what, what are you doing? He's like you didn't say please. <laughs> 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 That's actually bang on, of course. <laughs> the character that played his part the best was the old nonce in the park. <laughs> this was amazing, because you've got, like, the, the group of kids in this film. You've got one fat lad called Tuna. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't fat at all, by the way. They cast a lad and then went, oh, we actually want you to be a fat character now. Can you wear a pillow under your shirt? I oh, never. <laughs> Why not just cast a fat guy? Oh, then? Jesus Christ. When they're in the park, one of the kids drops his ice cream in like a bunch of sand doesn't he and he picks it up and carries on eating it and he says to the other kid hey do you want a bite and the other kid goes um no actually most viral contagions are passed through oral submission like it just reminds me of like connor <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you do talk like that, Con. <laughs> Just like, you know, when parents are like, oh, yes, I went to uh, the shop today and my child decided to say this long ass sentence with complicated. No, he fucking didn't, you absolute bellend. You just he's, wanted him to. He's a fucking cretin, this kid. Like fucking Macaulay Culkin, little prick as well. What? Absolute pronounced the C in that, didn't you? Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> I was fuming with this lad, and apparently his character name is Small Paul. So is he related to Tall Paul from Black Knight? And maybe, and maybe Paul Wall. (laughs) (laughs) He's sat in the park, isn't he? Just reading the Pied Piper, and then the pedo that comes up to him and starts telling him about how the Pied Piper drowns rats in some weird, threatening way. Until the ice cream man shows up, and then the nonce fucks off, and it cuts to just a scene of the ice cream man having his head injected with what I can only assume was guacamole. (laughs) (laughs) We get that. (laughs) the dog scene. So yeah, Gregory comes in and he decides to get a shank out, but it's like in like a cornetto or something. Like, I don't know why his ice cream like transforms into a fucking knife. He like shoves it through a push pop type thing, doesn't he? Yeah, it's like a Swiss army corn. And then he just nanks the dog with it. Nank. To be fair, in this film now, if you're going to hide anything from the police, it's not too difficult, is it? Not at all. These police are fucking ridiculous. They can't even find an eyeball in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. You'd be eating the ice cream, though, and you'd think, this thing I've got in my mouth does not have the texture or consistency <laughs> of ice cream. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Plays with it in his mouth for, like, ten minutes before as well, doesn't he? He just rolls it and rolls it and rolls it, and we get, like, a little close-up of him doing it. It's so strange. But uh, what I don't get is when Gregory goes to put the ice cream in it, he, like, gets, like, a cora type thing, and he, like, <laughs> cores a bit out of the eye, which clearly isn't the fucking pupil or iris. It's just the side of the eye. But then when mm. the guy's rolling it around in his mouth, he's got, like, the whole front of an eye in there which wasn't (laughs) wasn't even what he gave him so it must just be a completely different fucking eye yeah but then even the bugs as well like what I don't get is Gregory's going around serving all this shit but no one's noticed any difference of (laughs) flavour or like texture people just come to him and fucking flood him with money for these amazing ice creams they all actually really like the flavours don't they fucking runnings I keep asking for something called a hard pack what the fuck's a hard pack I don't know if you're from America leave a comment below telling us what the fuck a hard pack is (laughs) people are like oh my god you guys in England don't have hard packs oh my god God, you're missing out so much. <laughs> like the differences of English to American is like, oh, over here we got a hard pack, and the way you're like, yeah, we got a Mr. Whippy. <laughs> <laughs> Have a fucking munch on my Mr. Whippy, love. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like fucking Billy Butcher as well. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Sound like Buller. Do you remember Buller? <laughs> fucking Buller. It sounds cocky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. But anyway, you know the, the there's a typical American thing in here when the I think it's Tuna's brother. He's a fucking dickhead, and he wants to be a policeman, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. He has a gun in that, and he's like, when I become a cop, there's no more flesh and blood. It's just me and the law. (laughs) I'm sure he says it to his dad, and his dad's like, oh, I'll do something illegal. He's like, no, you won't. I'll arrest you. Fucking hell, (laughs) mate. But they're like, one of the dads is David from American Werewolf in London. Big David Norton. Why he's in this movie, who the fuck knows? And we also get a priest. We do. (laughs) Oh, yeah. We do have a priest. David Warner, he's a proper classic British actor. You know, he's in all sorts of shit. But again, why the fuck's he in this film? If you know where they got the cast from, leave a comment below. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask him who the fuck Jan Michael Vincent is as well because the only reason I actually know him is because of Rick and Marty <laughs> people have seen it fucking Vincent Quadrant 16 or whatever it's called in a world where there's eight Jan Michael Vincent <laughs> signed to Michael down your Vincent <laughs> I got actually pretty excited because I was like, oh my god, John Michael Vincent, a reference to someone I know, and then he's a fucking shit actor and a really, really bad policeman or investigator or whatever he is. He is fucking useless. We've watched a lot of films so far, but I have never <laughs> seen an actor as lifeless, soulless. He's just a fucking empty vessel of a man, and he's probably had a good career before this film, but he's got to that point where, like, you know when a footballer gets to, like, 38, 39, and they've been playing for like amazing teams their whole career and they end up playing for fucking Barnet. <laughs> that's what that feels like with <laughs> The police literally, like we've already said, can't figure out there's an eye in his fucking mouth. Then 
they smash up the entire ice cream shop, literally smash it to pieces just off the back of one kid saying that the ice cream man's a killer. <laughs> oh, I know, yeah, fucking hell, absolute have a fucking search and destroy warrant. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they literally just walk in and they're just needlessly smashing things with hammers. <laughs> just needlessly, like, no, he's not behind this painting on the wall, smash. Just fucking... Whacking everything, but they couldn't find oh. the giant hole in the wall which contained the kidnapped <laughs> child. <laughs> you know what I mean? The kid behind the wall didn't think the police are in here raiding and smashing the entire thing to shit. Maybe I'll make a noise. No, little cunt didn't think that, but he would have thought the policeman would see the giant fucking hole in the wall concealed <laughs> only with a bit of cardboard. He is pretty fucking stupid, isn't he? I'm sure he's um, chasing someone through a shop. Or Gregory, you mean? Oh, my God. I think he's chasing Tuna. Yeah. He's chasing Tuna through a shop. When Tuna, like, runs away and then he... <laughs> He like taps a rack of tissue and, and gets... flies forward. <laughs> like, I, it, honestly, it, <laughs> it looks like a doll has just been thrown through the store. But he's like knocked out. Yeah, he's on the floor, face down. <laughs> 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 then when he stands up, he's like running away and the ice cream man's chasing him. And then he gets distracted because a woman just goes, hey, do you like this color lip gloss? <laughs> and he, he stops and like, investigates for it. And he's like, oh, it looks good on you. Get seven. But, um, yeah, Tuna just hides <laughs> after his like toilet roll knockout, which I don't understand how he's knocked out for like three seconds. It was like <laughs> it was like when Tyson Fury got up against Deontay Wilder. <laughs> You know, he just <laughs> rose from the dead. It was like that. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah Tuna like runs away and like hides under a counter where his feet are still like clearly visible out the end but the ice cream <laughs> man still can't fucking see them when a woman goes past with like some open trolley that you can see underneath Tuna just rolls onto it still <laughs> is completely invisible to everyone does she even notice that he's on the bottom of the trolley though because surely there'd be a bit of a fucking hang on why is now my trolley suddenly 15 stone heavy yeah especially seeing as it's got the fat kid on it I mean if it was like small pot or Paul Wall or whatever the fuck his name is if he was on it <laughs> you wouldn't hardly feel it would you he's only like two foot but seeing as <laughs> Tuna who's not only the biggest kid he's also got 15 pillows strapped to him <laughs> <laughs> you think you'd feel the cunt wouldn't you so yeah points lost by Gregory there for being a shit investigator one of the three shit investigators in this film fucking hell I need to come back at these detectives right the kids are part of some gang they call themselves the Rocketeers don't they they're like going around on bikes and they've all got their own fucking uniforms so they've got berries and like camo face paint and shit and they've got fireworks on the bike handles <laughs> and tuna i think it is fires a rocket at the car with the detectives in and one of the cops goes he's got a gun <laughs> what gun shoots fireworks you fucking idiot <laughs> <laughs> on that note about fucking 90 percent of you to watch our videos haven't subscribed so if you haven't subscribed click the fucking bell no click the button that says subscribe then hit the bell you <laughs> fucking <laughs> touch, just touch the bell touch the bell should we try that again <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll do. That's that's, that's good enough. Perfect. Keep it. Uh, if you don't subscribe to the channel, by the way, you might end up like the priest's wife. <laughs> do you remember this woman? That like, is the priest's wife. That was horrendous. <laughs> She's going crackers. Hey, yeah. It's like the directors went, you need to act like you're clinically insane. But then she just starts talking like Taz, the Tasmanian devil. She's just... <laughs> but then the priest says, it's the archangel Gabriel speaking through her. Oh, yeah, so what, yeah. like... Imagine that you die and you've got the fucking Angel Gabriel there standing at the gates just going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You'd be like fuck this I'm going down Don't you tell me what my heaven is like Hopefully it includes all our subscribers Yeah that'll be a busy heaven wouldn't it <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ice cream man He's really fucking strong by the way isn't he He's like following Tuna and that on their bikes And then the ice cream man just pulls him into the van with one hand Just lifts him directly off his bicycle doesn't he Fucking Christ <laughs> On top of his horrific strength, did anyone notice Gregory might have had a bit of a gravelly voice? Didn't he drive to the set every day just screaming to give himself the voice? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> You're on the highway, fucking eight in the morning, going to drop the kids off, and you just see this fucking freak in the car going, ah! 
<laughs> I mean, if you think he's a loose cannon, wait till you hear this info about the director of this movie. Norman Epstein? No, it's not. That's a pseudonym. His real name's Paul Norman. He's a porn director. Some of his best works include... <laughs> oh, no. Cry Babies 1 Anal Scream. Wow. Okay. Sperm Bitches. Sperm Bitches. <laughs> I think I've seen that one. And the critically acclaimed Edward Penis Hands trilogy. <laughs> 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 the original fucking film wasn't even a trilogy. <laughs> Can we imagine, oh. imagine number one and two sold enough that you can do a trilogy. <laughs> Boy, some of you out there are fucking wrong and if you bought Edward Penis Hands one and two. I think Con's got them all on Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's why the movie has a bit of a weird tone to it. I mean, there's this one woman who keeps trying to, like, get with Gregory, doesn't she? And she keeps making <laughs> yeah. all these ice cream-related uh, puns. What does she know about him that I don't? Because there's no way she is fucking going after that. It must be about the ice cream, though. She wants a hard pack. Yeah, hard yeah. packs, yeah. She's a shit character. I, I can't remember how she dies, but she does. Yeah, he tries to, like, go in and fuck her, doesn't he? And finds a husband, decides to kill him, and put his head inside a giant an ice cream cone. Oh, <laughs> yes, takes, that's true. takes it to her, like, hopefully that she'll be entertained by this. And when she starts screaming, he just kind of, I don't know, he gives her a bit of a slap and she just dies. But the dad's head's got, like, little marks on his face off, like a waffle maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, yeah, he fucking waffles his face, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when Gregory kills him, he does that scream from the cafe advert, that energy drink advert thing where it's, like, the car driving through the forest and then it's the green monster pops up right at the end. You're going to have to put it right in here, aren't you? Here you go. <laughs> Reference. Ah! Ice cream, man! Ah! This is not a jump! The best part of any film we've watched on the show so far for me is when the detectives go to the mental asylum where Gregory used to be in. They start getting all the inmates locked onto them, but they just walk away from them. That's when Jan, Jan Michael Vincent's so like cool and calm about it, isn't he? They're all like harassing him and he's just like, hey, stop it, get away. <laughs> that is the mark of a good policeman. Calm, collected, <laughs> continues on with his job without being distracted. <laughs> Half the time he doesn't say anything back, but like neither detective draws the gun, neither of them thinks, oh, I'm in danger here, I might leg it to get out of this situation. They just leisurely walk away. <laughs> 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 oh, it's amazing. There's a little bit of context that I've missed out, actually. So Small Paul kind of befriends Gregory, and he it almost looks like Gregory's trying to raise him up as sort of like the next ice cream man, like his little protege sort of thing. And that's the only plot development that either of them has, because the rest of the film's just Gregory going around with, like, decapitated heads, using them as fucking, like, Punch and Judy puppets. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> and, yeah, the cops come back in to try and save Tuna, and, like, Gregory jumps off the top of the van and knocks both of them out by hitting them in the back with ice cream scoops. <laughs> you know the referees from like WWF? They get like knocked by a wrestler's arm and they'd be on the deck for like 20 minutes. <laughs> That's a great reference. The brother, who's a policeman, I think the, the kids run up to him and they're like, oh no, help us, small Paul's been taken, let's call the police. And he's like, no, don't call the police. I am the police. <laughs> Not yet really, mate. Y you're not actually qualified. You've just got a gun. And I'm sure he goes in, he takes his girlfriend with him, and then manages to get her killed, doesn't he? The ice cream man just comes outside and, and he, like, jabs something through her neck and goes, that's what I call brain freeze. <laughs> that's amazing. That's the best kill in the film by far. I love a good shit pun in horror film. There could have been loads more puns in this film, to be fair. <laughs> well, I think that slag who keeps trying to buy Gregory's ice cream's got the majority of them. I've just Remember one where she's like, give me a custard pie. What's the custard pie got to do with ice cream? <laughs> Wrong dessert, bitch. Go to the bakery, you slag. Go see Bulla. <laughs> I can't wait until you two watch Bulla. <laughs> it's basically me. <laughs> movie ends. As, As movies, movies do. do. <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, Gregory gets launched into an ice cream maker. Oh, that's brilliant, that, isn't it? <laughs> well, it was all right. <laughs> I'm seriously asking about it. <laughs> and it kind of goes back to normal, and all the kids are fine again. And like and one of the kids who got kidnapped at the start is like, alive, and everyone's happy. But small Paul has sort of like taken over as the ice cream heir, and he might be a villain in the sequel, which never happens because this movie was so shit. Well, they did try and get a sequel, didn't they? Yeah. They started a Kickstarter campaign with (laughs) a 300 grand budget, like Target, and it managed to raise four grand. (laughs) Oh, fucking hell. You couldn't even afford the fucking ice cream with four grand. (laughs) What ice cream are you buying? Not fucking Haagen-Dazs, clearly. Not the vanilla (laughs) one. (laughs) Do you know how much this film costs to make? Uh, I don't. This is my gimmick. Fuck off. I didn't budget. Yeah, well, I've just asked you, and you said you didn't know, so I'm going to fucking take it, because I do know. <laughs> Go on, then. Two million dollars. Oh, fuck off, two million dollars. <laughs> we, we've... <laughs> <laughs> Me and Connor literally just switched roles there. <laughs> I did the budget and he went, oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's wrap it up for me on sanity. <laughs> we could just end like this, ready? Look, this is how professional I am. Lads, I've had a fuck enough for this review. What do you reckon? Let's just go get some ice cream. Yeah, great plan. <laughs> to be fair. Well played, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I thought Kobe was gonna jump in, so I stopped. I'll set it up. You two knock it out the park, for fuck's sake. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great plan, actually. I can't wait to go and have my very flavoursome Hagen Dazs vanilla ice cream. <laughs> I think that's exactly what you should do. And for everyone that subscribes, Connor will send you a free ice cream in the post. <laughs> He's got a four grand budget. <laughs> <laughs> you just wake up one morning, you've just got a soggy envelope on the door. <laughs> <laughs> He'll deliver it in his ice cream van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that?